We are back with another DGen Royale YouTube video. I love this game. It is super, super fun. And if you are just watching this video and you're not sure how to get started, above I will link my video on how to get started and DJ Royale. But for this video, we will be talking about tips and tricks on how to improve and DJ Royale. I will be going over settings, the best spots, and how to basically win more gunfights. So the cool thing is they actually did a fun update where you're actually able to see a leaderboard. So if you go in the left hand side, you'll be able to see who is destroying and who is not. So the first thing is, if you didn't already know, there's going to be the team and their free for all. All you have to do is hit find match. And sometimes during the day, there's not enough people hosting. So you would have to host your own. I would just be going to free for all. I'll be hitting host and it's super easy to host. All you have to do is just say a room name. So I'll just be Trevor empty. You can also make this private if you do want to. And you're able to do max players of 12 for a free for all. Actually, it looks like they updated it. You can go more. <gasps> oh, you can go more. So you can go pretty high. Uh, we'll do 12 and 69 and I'll hit create. So first thing is we'll be going over settings. First thing is if you don't know how to get to settings, it's pretty easy. All you hit is escape and then you go to settings. So for the most part with master volume, Percy, it is just way too loud for me. So I like to keep this in the middle music sound. I basically bring that all the way down because when you do end the game and the victory screens up, it will blare in your ears and kill your eardrums. Um, next thing for character volume, I like to kind of be in the middle. Weapon sound, I go in the middle because weapons in this game are crazy loud sometimes. And then UI volume, I have it around 3 fourths. Audio quality, I do low. This is just easier and this is just my preference. And then for controls. So this is huge. So these are the best settings that I found. So mouse sensitivity, I have it 0.93. I'm used to a very high sense, even in Valorant. This really depends on... If you're used to lower sense, I personally feel like higher sense in DJ Royale helps you a lot. So I boost it up to 0.93. Zoom, I do 96%. You really don't have to touch that much, to be honest. There's not a crazy difference. And then for controls, this is really just up to you. So standard is WSAD for any first person shooter. Aim is different. I know that sometimes people like to switch this with left mouse and then right mouse. Um, but the thing I feel like not enough people know about is you're actually able to crouch in this game, which reminds me of CSGO. Crouching is actually really good. It's very underrated. Not enough people know about it. And then obviously we have the space bar. Um, everything else is basically going to be pretty standard, but everything is just like any other game for the most part. I always do suggest just going through these because I know a lot more people are having custom settings. So this is where you go for the controls. So going into graphics, um, personally, I like to do 1920 by 1080. I know a lot of people actually like to have it stretched. So personally, I think 1360 by 768 is a fantastic choice if you're used to CSGO or that type of shooter, for example, Valorant 2. And then for display mode, personally, I always do full screen because it's a little bit easier for my recording. And then also windowed full screen is another choice a lot of people do. For frame limit, personally, I do unlimited. On the right hand side, you can actually see how many frames you're getting. So I'm currently getting around 120, which is super nice. And then for show FPS, I always hit yes. Dynamic resolution, yes. I keep this the same. I haven't seen a crazy big difference. This is where the settings come in. And I feel like not enough people know about this. So we'll customize everything to medium. Percy, I hate it. So I like to go to low. And the next thing is textures. I go to ultra effects. I do ultra for view distance. I hit high. And then all you have to do is hit save. And this is what the map looks like now. I feel like these are the best settings because it's a lot easier to view people in the distance and it's not so hard on your graphics card. But if you do really want to go crazy, you can definitely boost your graphics all the way up and then going into basically shooting. So a lot of people also don't know this, but you're actually able to switch hands or view sides. So right now it looks like I'm on the right hand side. If, if you're looking to go on the left hand side, all you have to do is hit alt and then you can switch. So just like that, it's super, super easy. Um, all you have to do is alt and then you'll be able to switch. Um, next thing is pretty standard is right click. Obviously it's going to be shooting. And then left click is where you actually zoom in. 
And this is where you're basically able to help with long shots. So instead of just kind of going from the hip fire, it helps to basically go right here, zoom in. And personally, I like to do triple. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I feel like that is going to be the best for basically helping control your spray. And the next big thing is I will show you the difference between basically crouching and not crouching. So this is basically, it's not that bad. This is without crouching. And then if we go over here, this is with crouching. So obviously we can see on the right hand side that crouching helps a lot with aim accuracy. The pattern is kind of like a snake in a way. It goes up and then down a little bit, up and then down a little bit. You can also memorize that, but I feel like down the line, they will be changing the gun recoil pattern, but that is going to be the best. And the next thing is I will be showing you the spots that I feel like are the best for the game. So basically how you get here is you just go on the beach. You run up this little area right here and it's right here. And right here you can crouch. And this is a fantastic spot because you can also hide in with this like log right here. And then if you want, you can be ballsy and you can see the whole map right here. This is probably one of my favorite spots right here. And you're also able to go up here. So this is a fantastic spot up here. Okay, so this one should be a pretty standard. Um, it will be this little hut right here. Personally, the best area I found is actually right here. So you're able to see this area right here. And this is another hut that a lot of people say. But if you're right here, you're able to see a lot. And a lot of people camp by this tree. So this is a great spot if people are camping by this tree. And you also get to see a little Easter egg with the frog. Okay, so another fun spot. The the best way I found to basically get around the lava is you hop on here. And you run and jump. And then you run and jump again. And you're able to get on here pretty easy. This is another great spot. You are in the open. So you have to be very, very careful. And then... There is this background right here. Personally, I feel like this is a dead zone. Nobody ever comes back here. But you're more than happy to come out here if you're looking to kind of hide and play hide and seek. And then you basically go right here. You can actually... So this is a really good spot and a lot of people know about. You can jump here. Jump again. And you, you can <laughs> legit see everything. So this is a fantastic spot because you're able to see on the right hand corner... Because a lot of people spawn over here and then you're able to see this and then that's another spot that I like to see um, to see what's happening but you're also in the open. It's a great spot for like King of the Hill but I personally like this spot better because you're able to see more of the map. And then another good map or spot is actually on this right here and then you're able to snipe people on the beach and then on the left hand side too. And then another fun spot, there's there, there's a lot of spots that are just kind of hidden. You're able to go up here and then get from this angle. This is a great angle too because you can also hide behind here and people can't shoot you. If you go over here, you're able to fully see what's happening right here. And you're able to hide behind here and it's a great spot to kind of jump peek. Um... And you're able to basically see what's happening all over there, which is super nice. And then you have somebody come in and kill me. Oh, that's great. And then probably one of my favorite ones is when you spawn on the beach, a great thing to hit is this right here. It'll jump you up right here. And you're able to snipe people pretty easy. And you do have the cover from the tree, which is super nice. And you're able to basically go through here. And the last spot that I love is basically down here. So it, so if you go into the water fully, you're able to snipe people pretty well to cover behind this. And then you're able to go, because a lot of people go for this right there, this tree or this tree. Um, it's pretty good. And then you can fully just hide under this. This spot is good if you're looking to escape. So this is a great spot to be because you're in the open, but you also have the cover from this. And then you're able to move over here and then be here for cover because usually when people are attacking you, they're right there. But yeah, so that is basically all of the spots that I enjoy the most. You can jump and shoot. 
it's not going to be the most accurate, but you can definitely do that. And then you can also shoot on these things right here. So if you... Son of a biscuit. So if you hit this right here, you're also able to shoot too. So if I'm up in the air, I can fully shoot at someone right there. Um, it's not the best for accuracy. It's pretty wild, but... Uh, Percy, I think that the best thing to do is when you're like at least five meters away from someone, it's best to jump and shoot because it fully throws off their aim. And I like to shoot in buckets of three. And then for long range, I always crouch. And there it is. So I hope this video was super helpful to you guys. I love making this. My next video, I'll be showing you how to record DJ Royale through OBS or through your computer. It's been super fun, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.